After you've finished downloading all the RAR files for the sample library, you can now extract them. We recommend using UnrarX for macOS due to how easy it makes the process. Once installed, UnrarX allows you to simply double-click on the engine RAR file to extract it. Watch for the All OK status that indicates that the RAR file has completed extracting. Finally, extract the first part of the samples. Because the samples are a multi-part RAR archive, it's essentially considered a single RAR archive, just divided into multiple files. Because of that, you only need to extract the first part of the samples. This might take a little while. Again, when the samples have completed extracting, you'll see the All OK message in the status window. If you close the extraction process early, the samples won't have extracted completely. OK, now the samples have finished extracting. You can see there's an Instruments subfolder, Samples, everything has been extracted correctly into a single folder. If it's a contact player instrument, you'll need to open the Native Access application and activate the library using your serial number before loading the library in contact. Otherwise, you can just open it directly in contact. Thanks for watching.